I've got one thing to say about the new Haas livery for 2024. That Haas though! No, seriously, the Haas logo on this car is huge! Now, I apologize to people who are listening to the audio-only podcast version of this episode, but I will be providing links to these images down in the description. But right now, the VF24 from Haas is looking, uh, kind of interesting in a way. I'll tell you one thing for sure, is that the black and the composition and the way it's distributed is a little bit cleaner from what I have seen. I've got images of it up right here. So my open, honest reaction from what I've seen thus far, it just seems very, uh, it seems very clean. There's a lot more black, that's for sure. And you know this is definitely what the 2024 car is going to look like because the airbox right here is a lot rounder than what I remember. It was quite triangular as far as I can remember. But right here, we can just take a look and the composition of the black Oh, no, I'm sorry, I say black, I mean carbon fiber. Let's just be real here. It looks a little cleaner and you can actually tell what the numbers are. And the way they kind of overlap is very, very reminiscent to what I saw with the Red Bulls. And I think we still see with the Red Bulls if they haven't just got ones all the time, but we're going to be seeing the number one on the Red Bull for quite some time, quite frankly. But I am actually a really big lover of what they're doing with the nose except for that little bit of the bottom i feel like why are you stopping there why have you just got that little triangle thing and it's just like oh it, it, it's 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 messing with my brain it's just it's, it's messing with what i got it's just not my goodness the most important thing i'm pretty sure you all want to know is what on earth is this cap all about well you can go and get it on the law vs store but that's besides the point nice little kind of purple finish it's just the same money grams right up there with the logo that looks really, really a bit too high as far as I can tell. And there's Tricorp, Alpine Stars, Alpine Stars, sorry, Palm Angels. Yeah, no, they haven't really got any more sponsors, so they haven't been able to woo any more with the sacking of Gunther Steiner. But, but yeah, no, no, actually, no, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. They're sponsored by America! Yeah, America is on the nose cone. Usually they have a black and white one on the side, but no. It's now got pride of place on the nose cone. Murka. Just, <laughs> oh God. Wow. I wonder if this is a reaction to all the Andretti news to remind people we're an American team that gets chassis from an Italian maker and our base is in Maranello and Oxfordshire in the UK. Um, we have a desk in uh, Canapolis. So <laughs> this is very, very obviously something to do with reminding people that, hey, you already have an American team, so don't worry about that stuff. But I cannot get over this, this Haas logo. My God, it's huge. Like, it's so huge that if you look at the side profile right here, it's just, it's like hub. It looks like a hub. You can't even see the S at the side with the sculpted side pods, which are so trying to copy what I can see from Aston Martin and Red Bull. Like you kind of just got this direct airflow and the white stripe under there, which is trying to make it look cool and also trying to convince the air to actually go under there. Please, the aerodynamics, please work. And they are making this whole thing work. And I will say that from the side, it does look clean. I just think that Haas logo is way too big. And that Money Grand logo could just be brought down just a teensy little bit more. I think it seems a lot cleaner than the 2023 livery. I'm not hating this, but they are clearly trying to save some weight here. But overall, I think this is a little bit more of an improvement. But that has, though. That has. My goodness. But I am not disliking this livery at all. And you can sort of tell there has been some development with the airbox and the rear wing and the engine cover. So they have made some improvements there. And... I'm not really seeing much in terms of the side pods. They are very similar to the Ferrari side pods, which makes a lot of sense because they're obviously following some of the stuff from Ferrari. But it might give you some clues as to what the Ferrari car might look like since Haas is basically getting into bed with Ferrari even more now. And we might get some indications about where the car's going to go when we finally get the 676 or the SF24 coming out in about a couple of weeks time or something. But from what I can tell right now, this seems to be 
a little bit more developed from what we have seen. And the implementation of the color scheme does seem a little bit better. Well, I mean, I say color scheme, it's mostly black. But a black livery isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just something that I feel like there's a couple of things I feel like could do a little bit more improvement, like the white where it stops like near the halo and then at the nose. I appreciate the fact that it's somewhat symmetrical, but it could have just been rounded out a little bit more. The placement of the red on the rear wing and the front wing looks all right. It just looks all right. It's like a refinement of what we had last year. And I do dig the idea that the nose cone and the monocoque is black to go along with it with a white stripe. But I just feel like there are just a couple of things that just need a little bit more of an improvement. And the play and go blue there, it does really stick out quite a bit. I'm a bit sad that they weren't able to kind of implement that properly and not make them go, hey, can you just make it red or something like that? And they're just like, no, you take our money and our logo and you like it. But I'm not disliking this. This looks like it, it's a little bit more of a developed car, especially those strakes on the front wing that they are actually doing something with it. But I feel like this could be an interesting car. I don't know about the speed or anything, but there is some influence coming from different teams, which I do like the look of. So interesting times. So that's my little reactionette when it comes to situations like this. Do be sure to subscribe to get more of these livery reveals as they drop and food for thought for you before you leave. Go and watch this video next to get an idea about all of the hubbub that's going around with uh, the big guy going to the likes of Ferrari and who could replace him at Mercedes.